this is Christy and Summer and we're here with our friend Charles Artus from Art Montgolfier and we're here to talk to you about the art of hot air ballooning in the Loire. One of the biggest activities to do here in the Loire Valley is hot air ballooning. So Charles is going to tell us more about it. So Charles, can you tell us a little bit about your passion, how you got into hot air ballooning? Well, so my passion to fly, to be in the sky and to fly without, um, without noise, without um, motors, so only with a burner, and we are in the air, flying above the castle, above the Loire Valley, above the Cher River, above the field, above the forest, everything. So that's good, and I enjoy to be in the air every day when the and weather is good. <laughs> what is the ideal time to hot air balloon in the Loire? Well, we are flying all the year, especially from April to October, because it's the time, the period of the year where we get the big, the better, the best, sorry, best weather to do it. But uh, we can also fly sometime during winter when we have dry and when it's clear and dry. Okay. So we can also do sometimes some flights during winter. Ooh, and that's we're, awesome. so we're in the one of the baskets. The nacelle of a hot air balloon, how many people can fit in here? In that one we can put 12 people, okay. more, so more pilots, so three in each compartment. And we have different baskets, we can take from two people in the basket until 16 passengers per basket. And yeah. So we're, we're not flying now because... Uh, it's too windy. It's, it's too very windy. clear today, but it's too windy, so we can't take off today. Okay, yeah, because safety first, I imagine. Yes, safety first. A lot of rules, <laughs> a lot of rules around uh, hot air ballooning and uh, a lot of excitement around hot air ballooning because one of the uh, pluses of hot air ballooning around this region is, and I know from experience hot air ballooning with Charles, quite often there are many castles involved. Yes, there are. So we have, well, we are in the middle of all the castles of Loire Valley, so we can fly. Mostly during a flight, we can see one of the big castles like Amboise, Chenonce, or Chaumont, Cheverny. But it's very often during a flight that we can fly above different smaller castles like Castle of Montpon, Castle of uh, Brassé, Castle of. Well, it's the area is full of small castles, so we can, we can see. There's always something exciting to yeah, see. Yeah, that's very good. And I have a question, do you have any control over where you land the balloon or is it really depending on the, the direction of the wind? So of course we control the field where we will land, okay. but about direction of the flight, no, we don't control nothing, only the wind does that for us. Okay. Because we go with the wind, so the only thing that we can do is go up or going down. And sometimes we can change the direction of the balloon. If we are going up and the wind is turning right, we can turn a little bit right. If when we go down it's turn left, we turn left. But um, definitely, if the winds do the speed and uh, the direction. So, if the wind is coming from the north, we never go with the balloon in the north. We will definitely go to the south. Okay. But that's not a problem. We have uh, different launch sites uh, to choose at the beginning, depending on the direction of the wind, to come back to fly above the, and do the most, most beautiful flight. Charles, it would be really exciting to know because you've grown so much over the years as a company and I know personally that you started out rather small as a brand new entrepreneur uh, with your balloon and your truck and now you have many trucks, many balloons <laughs> and a huge hangar here. Yeah. Yes, I, I start in 2005. I was when I think when we know together, it was only small balloon with only four passengers in the basket. And well, I know the balloon from I, all the time live in this area, and it was already balloons landing in the field around my parents' place. So it's. Mm -hmm this thing that I'm going to the balloon and I would like to do ballooning. So it's why I take my license and after that, when I was about 18, 19 years old, I get my license to fly balloon. And after that, I start a summer job with a small balloon. 
and I follow and continue and now we have uh, six balloons and flying about 3,500 passengers per year or something like that. And we are, so I'm not alone, we are five pilots, 12, it's about 15 people fl uh, working with me during the um, high season okay. to fly all the balloons and we are now flying along all the um, the River Loire from Sao Mur to the west to okay, um, see, at, at the east uh, we go to Cheverny Chambord mm -hmm. and in the middle here Chenonceau Lodge is uh, on wire Chenonceau and new new things for this year will be Fontainebleau. Oh, oh amazing! Yes. So what uh, what led you to Fontainebleau? Well, it's really close of Paris so for the group and people doesn't take time to come down to the Loire Valley and turn back to Paris it will be easier for them because it's about one hour. Charles what's your favorite period of the day to fly? Morning, I evening? definitely prefer fly in the morning. I don't prefer to wake up so early in the morning <laughs> but I definitely prefer to fly in the morning because it's very very clear very quiet mm -hmm. and we can see much more animals like deers and everything in the in the country so well it's two ambience complete, completely different but I prefer the morning flight. And what time do they usually go? Uh, depending on the sun is going at but <laughs> yes. uh, in April we start at seven o'clock okay. and in noon it's five, half past five. So oh. meeting point with passenger to take up around six, six fifteen to be landed at seven fifteen because we can't fly during the day. It's only on the morning and on the evening because we can't fly during the day with the wind and with the instability of the air. So yeah. it's why we are taking up so early or so late. Yeah. So but it's sunrise it's, or sunset. Yeah. Must be. But it's good. But it's, 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 a, it's a light, the moment of the day where the light at the most beautiful. Yes. Well, thank you, Charles, for joining us this evening and welcoming us into your private world here, inside your hangar, with all your balloons, all your baskets, and just all this passion and spirit for hot air ballooning here in the Loire. Merci beaucoup. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks to you. And uh, come fly. Come, come fly. fly. Come fly with our balloon here. Come fly with Charles. Until next time, thank you for joining me. Bye and bye. summer. Bye. 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 Bye.